Yo guys, what is up? It is Ryan Sneaks back with another sneaker video. Today I finally got in a shoe I've been waiting years for to re-release. Uh, Nike took forever on that. Now when these shoes dropped, I wasn't able to pick them up. I actually struck out on the sneakers that did I had no luck on that one. I actually struck out everywhere. Every website was gone. They were dry. Uh, until I hurt my shoulder, I had to go to the doctor. I was waiting in the lobby just on my phone, you know, just kind of going through stuff. And then all of a sudden I saw that Blends restocked these and uh, I got really lucky. So it's my first time getting lucky off Blends. Uh, it took a while for the shipping. It took almost like two weeks, like a week and a half maybe. Uh, they threw in this bag. I actually picked up something else from Blends as well that's coming in this week, uh, which is another uh, Nike pickup. But the one we're focusing on today is this one. Uh, let's see if that will pick up right there. The Nike Flying It Trainer in the white and black colorway. Now I remember these dropping and not being able to pick them up. Um, really just, I think I had just started working that year or something like that. Uh, just really got into shoes and then Kanye wore these, they blew up and just, there was no chance. I actually remember vacationing with my family in San Francisco that year, going to the Nike town that they had, looking for anything flying it. It was just, it was a pain. Now 2017, re-released, re-retro, and man, they are nice. First things first, uh, they actually come with a little bag with some black laces in there. Uh, and that's pretty much all that comes in there besides the shoes. So during the NBA Finals, they were actually uh, a few Nike athletes wearing these. Kevin Durant, Draymond Green were just a couple of them. Uh, they were wearing, I think it was a Sunset pair that just released. Uh, they literally they just released, but uh, the Sunset pair and then now there's a pale gray pair. I'm hearing that there's going to be a Volt pair coming out as well. And hopefully they redo the black and white one, just the all black with the white swoosh. Uh, that would be dope as well. Now what I was really hoping on was that, uh, you know, everybody's boosts his life and all that kind of stuff. So I was hoping, you know, maybe these will be an easy pickup. Maybe people are over the Nike stuff. Uh, they've kind of drifted to like boost and stuff like that. Maybe this will be an easy pickup for myself and way wrong. Uh, these sold out pretty much instantly. There's still a few places you can pick up the pale gray and the sunset pairs. Uh, they're still floating around on different little shops and stuff. But really, this was the pair I wanted. I wasn't going to settle. Uh, I wasn't going to go pick up the pale gray, which is very similar to this one, and so was the sunset pair, really. Uh, I wanted this one, so if I was to strike out, I was going to pay, uh, like, on Goat or StockX, something like that, just to get myself a pair. So, starting off with the shoe, you pretty much just get an all-white flannet upper going throughout everything. Uh, you do get some black starting to pepper in around here, and on the toe box, you can kind of see that it's a little bit of a design going through. You get some darker spots of the flannet and whatnot. Uh, pretty much, that's the whole shoe. It's really, really simple, and I think that's one of the things that makes it so popular. It's nothing that's too crazy of a color that's really hard to pull off or anything like that. Uh, just a really subtle white and black. I think Nike should have released these a little bit earlier, like in beginning of summertime instead of end of summertime. Uh, it would have been a really great summer shoe to wear and stuff. Now that fall's approaching in, uh, you know, the rainy weather and cozy boy season, they might not be as good. They'll get really dirty and stuff like that, so... Uh, I would recommend spraying some kind of a water repellent and stuff like it now. On the bottom of the shoe, you pretty much just get your regular Nike trainer outsole. I did have a pair of trainers not that long ago. They were the Volt original ones. Uh, they were a size 11. They were way too small. They were padded. So, I mean, it, it just, it really wasn't a good fit for me. For those who are wondering, these are non-padded, so they will fit you a little bit better. Uh, more true to size. As soon as I picked these up and opened the box, uh, I tried them on immediately just to make sure they were good. 11 and a half was a perfect fit, not too big, not too small, uh, just really a perfect fit. Now with the lacing situation, I'm gonna leave the white laces on, I'm not gonna replace them with the black ones. I like the white, I like just the way it looks. I know some people were complaining, saying that they changed the color from black to white, uh, but I don't really have a problem with that, especially when they're letting us uh, get these at retail instead of paying the crazy resale prices they were going for. If they're gonna change a couple things like they always do, it's, it's no big deal. Insoles are just straight black, it doesn't say anything on there. Uh, on the back it says Ortholite and it's your regular green outsole. And that's pretty much it. And one secret little thing on the bottom, uh, you can see it says 2012. That's where you used to put your Nike Plus little pod in there. If you had that for your iPod or something like that, it would help you track your running and stuff. Uh, I never had the pod, but I had a lot of shoes that had it. So yeah, overall, really, really great shoe. Uh, like I said, it's more of a summer type shoe, which is good for me still, because in Texas it's still pretty hot. It doesn't really get to the cold, uh, rainy stuff until like late November, so I got a good month and a half to wear these with shorts. And then I can start wearing them with like maybe tech fleece or uh, some Nike Flex runner pants. Overall, this is probably one of my favorite pickups of the year. I really wanted to double up on this release, but it was just a little bit harder than I thought it was going to be. Either way, I'm really happy I was able to secure my pair, so uh, just... 
thankful for that. So let me know down in the comments below if you were able to pick these up or if you struck out or if you're going to pay resale for these because uh, for me, these were a must cop. But hey, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. I'm about to head out right now, so I'm going to throw these on foot for you guys, and I'll catch you guys next time.